You'll never see it coming. This week's breakdown is Joker, leader of the Phantom Thieves who made his first appearance in Persona 5 back in 2016. While the player can freely name Joker, his canon name is Ren Amamiya in most appearances, and I apologize because I likely butchered that. Aspects of Joker have made cameos in other games such as Phantasy Star Online 2, Sonic Forces, and Dragon's Dogma Online. And upon the reveal of Persona 5, Japanese fans nicknamed him Potter due to the resemblance to Harry Potter. What's up, YouTube? I'm Chalkspuss, and this week we are breaking down Joker, the second DLC character to join the roster, and a middleweight with a lot of mobility and interesting airstrings. Now, not to take a shot at Cheek here, but Joker feels like what Cheek should have always been. He has a strong rushdown game and a unique transformation ability that will summon his persona Arsene when his rebellion gauge fills up. But before we get into specifics, I wanted to take a minute to talk about Arsene and how he adds to Joker's moveset. So the Rebellion Gauge fills up over time or when taking damage, but it can be charged faster when you counter it with Rebel's Guard. Now, a full gauge will take somewhere around 70 to 80% damage to fill from empty, and if you can manage to summon Arsene early, you're either really good with Rebel's Guard or you're getting whooped. So just a couple additional things to know about Arsene. He'll last about 30 seconds, but the bar will deplete faster as you take more damage. And when he's out, he gives Joker an additional hitbox, but no additional hurtbox. So Joker's attacks will reach slightly further and deal increased damage. And the only other real changes Arsene makes to Joker's moveset is through his special moves, but we're gonna cover that more when we get to that section. But that's it for the overview. Before we get into the breakdown, be sure to vote in the comment section below for who you'd like to see next week. And let's get into it. Joker's jab is this three-hit combo with his knife. Now, it's not a rapid jab, so you either need to hit A three times, or you need to hold A when you connect with the first attack. When all three attacks hit, it'll deal about 9% damage, and it has decent base knockback and good range. But the first two attacks are good for jab locking, so if you do knock your opponent down, if you get in there quick enough, which I did not just now, you can jab lock them with the first two hits. Now, as for Joker's dash attack, it's this kick that will hit twice, I like it a lot because it doesn't have a ton of end lag, so you can use it to punish landings. Um, it also sets up really well into some offstage combos or finishers because it has very low vertical knockback. So if I knock Paltane off the stage, I can rush her down and hit her with a nair and then recover and knock her further away from the stage. Now the attack itself is not particularly strong, but it does have a long lasting hitbox, which is nice. However, towards the end of the stage with base Joker, you won't pick up a kill until, I want to say, around 140%, but that's against the lighter characters. However, if you do have Arsene out, you can get a kill around 110%. Next up, we're going to talk about Joker's smash attack, starting with his forward smash, which is this downward slice with his knife. It's his strongest attack and one of his better kill options, so you can pick... I hate... This bus is the most annoying thing. That me constant meowing in the back. Anyway, you can pick up a kill around 80% with this thing towards the end of the stage with base Joker. However, it does have a lot of end lag, so be careful using it on stage because if you whiff it, you're going to be punished. Now, with Arsene, you can pick up a kill, I want to say, as early as 60%. So let's bring Palutena down. Let's bring Arsene out. And this thing should kill around 60. Yes, definitely. Next up, we have Joker's Down Smash, which is this sweeping attack with his blade. Now, like most characters, it will hit on both sides. It's good against constant rolling, and it's good for ledge guarding if your opponent rolls back onto the stage. But also, it has low vertical knockback, so you can use it to knock your opponent off stage, follow up with an air attack, or it will pick up a kill, I want to say around 120% with base Joker towards the end of the stage. And if you have Arsene out, somewhere as early as 75 to 80%. So, it's not that weak. It's actually decently strong, and like I said, if you have an opponent that doesn't have great horizontal recovery, use it to knock them off the stage, and then you can gimp their recovery with a forward air or a back air. Next up, we have Joker's Up Smash, which is this overhead knife swing that will hit either in front of Joker or above him, but it will not hit behind him, even though it looks like he's swinging the knife completely overhead. Now, it's the weakest of the three smash attacks, so with base Joker, you're not getting a kill until around 130%. However, once you're around 80, if you have Arsene out, you can actually do a down air that will set up into a up smash and kill around 100. So, if I have Arsene out and my opponent is around 80, 
over there won't work because they'll probably bounce too high, but you can do a short hop down air right into an up smash and pick up the kill. Next up, we have Joker's special, starting with his neutral B, which is his gun special, where if you hold it down, he will fire shots, or if you hammer B, he will shoot faster. Now, the closer you are to your opponent, the more damage they're going to take, and also they're going to flinch up close, whereas you'll deal less damage from back here. Now, while using his special, you're able to move four times, similar to a roll, where he will be invulnerable during the actual frames of the dash, but after the fourth one, you can't do anything until you let go of the attack. Now, if you're in the air, you can do a couple things. You can aim downward, and you can do his uh, Rainstorm, which is good for ledge guarding. You can also jump and do it, or you can do his Gun Wheel, which is done by holding up when you are shooting in the air. Now, like we spoke about earlier, Arsene will change Joker's special moveset. So when you have Arsene out, he will deal increased damage and shoot three shots as opposed to one. You can also use Joker's gun to jab lock, or I guess technically gun lock, but I think it's more situational. I think Joker's actual jabs are better for jab locking than using his gun. Joker's gun is good for racking up damage from afar and some long range harass, but be careful when ending because it does have a decent amount of ending lag, so you can be punished if you use it too much. But I think that's where the rolling comes into play, so you can do things like shoot, roll, you can do a jump rainstorm, you can shoot again, roll. And like we said earlier, it's not a bad tool for ledge guarding because you can get your opponent to flinch, or if they're recovering from under the stage, you can use rainstorm and shoot them down. Next up, we have Joker's Side B, which is his Eha, this little flame that comes out that will deal damage over time if it connects with your opponent. Now, a couple things about it. You do have a little bit of air mobility while using it in the air, so you can use it to zone your opponent. However, it does have a noticeable amount of end lag, so using it too much or using it predictably will get you punished. It's also a good tool for ledge guarding, because if your opponent is trying to get back to stage, you can catch them with the Eha and kind of stop their forward momentum. Also, at higher percents, it will knock up enough where you can follow up with some kind of air attack. If you do have Arsene active, the Eha will turn into an Aegon, which is essentially the same thing, but it comes out quicker and it will deal more damage. Ledge guarding with Arsene is a lot better because if your opponent is trying to roll back onto the stage from ledge, you can use Aegon and create a column and then they will actually roll into it. Joker's up B is his grappling hook, which is a command grab that has multi-uses. Now, a couple things about the grappling hook. Your opponent has to be in the air and Joker has to be on the ground for it to attack. You can't use it if your opponent's on the ground. So if your opponent's up in the air, you can grab them back down and he will kind of bounce them off and knock them back up. However, if Joker's also in the air, the grappling hook will just hit. It won't actually pull them back in. Now, as far as combos go, I don't think the grappling hook works well until around 40%, where you can do things like a down tilt into an up B to grab them back and continue with the combo. Or even better, you can do a down tilt into an up air, into an up B, and then you can follow up with a forward air or another air attack. And while it's not a true combo out of an up air, if your opponent doesn't react quick enough in DI, you can pull them right back in and extend the combo. Now for recovery purposes, the grappling hook is a lot better than I originally thought it was going to be. You can actually chase pretty low. The grappling hook comes out quick enough where Joker can even recover from down here. So if you are chasing your opponent off, which you want to do because Joker has some great air attacks, you can go pretty low and then you can still make it back to ledge. We didn't do it there, but you can go pretty low and you can still make it back to ledge. However, you do want to make sure you're facing the right way because Joker could be as close as he wants to the ledge, but if he's facing the opposite direction, he's not going to grab. However, you can grab from under the stage. And when Arsene is active, his up B goes from the grappling hook to Wings of Rebellion, which actually gives him some pretty crazy recovery potential. So you can actually go even further and then still make it back to stage with ease. Couple more things about Wings of Rebellion. You can only go straight up or angle it slightly forwards. You can't angle backwards or any other direction. So remember that if you are going to chase off the stage because you don't want to start a recovery, only to realize that you can't angle backwards. And also while using Wings of Rebellion, you have complete invulnerability, so you cannot be hit. Last up we have Down B, which is Rebel's Guard. You can hold it up to two seconds, and this is primarily how you're going to charge your Rebellion Gauge faster. So if you're playing against a character like King K. Rule, who's using multiple projectiles and they're being very predictable, or I guess you could say you saw it come. I'm sorry for the bad puns. But anyway, if you notice that your opponent's going to use a smash attack 
and you have the opportunity to absorb, that's not a smash, you have the opportunity to absorb some of the damage with Rebel's Guard, you know, take a little bit of damage, and you'll be able to completely fill your gauge up and get Arsene out, so you're at an advantage. This also works really well if you're trying to recover back to the stage and your opponent is going for some kind of ledge guard or they are going for the spike. Use down B to absorb the hit and then recover. Using it a lot will make you very predictable so your opponent can get used to baiting your down B, not attack you, and then they could go in for a grab or they can start a combo. Now, once our Sen is out, down B becomes Tetracarn and Makarakarn, which is essentially a counter and a reflect all in one. It also comes out really quick, so if your opponent is at high percent and they are going for a pretty heavy attack, you can actually reflect it and you can pick up the kill. So if we get hit with the side smash, we reflect it, we're going to kill Politana. Joker has some good tilt attacks. His forward tilt is this advancing double stab that has some pretty good range to it, so if your opponent's being super aggressive, you can poke them and knock them back. However, down tilt is really where it's at because it's one of Joker's best combo tools. It's this baseball slide that you can actually combo into up air or a lot of different things because it's going to pop your opponent right in front of you. So a good mid percent string with Joker would be late in air, down tilt, up air, up B into double forward air. Then you have his up tilt, which is this overhead spinning knife attack, which hits similar to his up smash. So it'll hit in front of Joker and pull up or it'll hit directly above him. Now it's a multi-hit attack. I think it combos better at lower percents. So you can do something similar. You could do late in air, down tilt into an up tilt. Joker's air attacks are where he's really going to shine because this is where a lot of his strings and combos are going to come from. Starting with his neutral air, which is this spinning blade attack that has very low base knockback, which makes it a great combo starter. And a late air into a down tilt will work really well up until about 40% where you can start to string it into other attacks. Now, because of its long-lasting hitbox, it's a good option for chasing your opponent off the stage to try and gimp a recovery. Next, we have Joker's forward air, which is this double kick, which is a good option for confirming a kill off the stage. Now, the second kick is the one that's going to knock back, but if you cancel after the first kick by fast falling out of a short hop forward air on stage, you can actually pop your opponent right in front of you at basically all percents. Now this is good because I have Politana over 110%, so what I can do is I can fast fall cancel and then I can slide under, and that was supposed to be an up smash, because the up smash will actually kill. Next up we have Joker's back air, which is a really good attack in neutral because you can use it to zone your opponent. It also comes out really quick and it's good for ledge guarding. Joker's up air is this overhead corkscrew kick, which is similar to Sheik and Greninja, and just like them you can use it to pull your opponent down and extend combos. And honestly, doing up air pull downs is going to be critical to doing combos with Joker, so you're going to want to practice them. Last up, we have down air, which is this diving swipe, and it works similar to his neutral air because it's another good combo starter, so you can do it into a dash grab, or you can do it into a down tilt, and the good thing about Joker's air attacks is they're pretty interchangeable, and you can actually mix up the strings a lot. So you can do... A neutral air to a down tilt, you can do a down air to a down tilt, you can do a down air to a down tilt to an up tilt, you can do neutral air, down tilt, up air. There's so many different things you can do. Just experiment and see what works and what you like. Now, base Joker's down air will not spike. However, when he does have Arsene, it gains the ability to spike. So you can chase opponents off and you can spike them all day long. Also, like we spoke about earlier, it becomes a pretty good setup for kills at higher percents. And last, we're going to cover Joker's throws. You have his forward throw, which is good for forcing a tech chase. You have his back throw, which is not particularly good, but you can use it to establish stage control. You have his up throw, which is good for starting an up air juggle or any up air combos. Then you have his down throw, which is going to be your primary combo starter and extender because at most percentages, it's going to pop your opponent right in front of you where you can follow up with some kind of air attack. So that's it for Joker's breakdown. I went a little light on Arsene because he fundamentally doesn't change a lot of Joker's combos because you can still string a lot of the same attacks together. With that being said, you definitely can chase deeper off the stage with Arsene, but even without him, I think Joker's grappling hook is better than we thought it was going to be, so don't be afraid to be aggressive because Joker relies heavily on rushing his opponents down. But if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you vote for who you want to see next week in the comments section below. 
We're a couple months into the series, so be sure to check out the library of characters that we've already covered if there's someone else that you're looking to get some tips on. If you're new to the channel, go hit the subscribe button. We do character breakdowns every week and a load of other content. So if you'd like to take it a step further, feel free to ring the bell if you want to get notifications when I do upload. I'm also on Twitch, Twitter, and Discord, but you can find links to all those in the description below. Now go forth, steal those W's, and we will see you in the next video. Later.